So here's the one thing I keep noticing. The music is so odd and non-Halloween-y. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's just because we're, say, in Frontierland. So it should be like Frontier music. But it's not. They're playing like Mr. Piano Man over here. And they're playing Welcome to the Jungle over there. I, I guess that kind of made sense, like the Jungle Cruise, Welcome to the Jungle. However, still, not Halloween music. It, it kind of takes you out of the, the theming of the, of the whole experience. Because <laughs> this is not Halloween music. It's not Disney music. So we're gonna stop by Pecos Bills and just check out the Hades nachos. Yeah, we were trying to see if we can mobile order, but it doesn't look like we can. We meant the party stuff. We got the Hades nachos, which are black bean chip and buffalo chicken and plastic cheese. But the score of the evening is... Oh, it does light up. And it looks and like they attach they to either side of this. They're probably attached together. Can we all say, Mickey, take my money? How long were we waiting in line? I think like 30 minutes. And after the third person from behind us got their food, I was like, uh, hold on. All we got was nachos, and they were getting like... Full on meals. Yeah. Like for four people. Yeah. I'm so. like, we just got one nacho. It's very busy in here because a lot of people are just coming in to get this. Or they're coming in to get the dessert. Yeah. Which we did not get, thankfully, because it's like this big. Literally of, like three inches long. Of worms and dirt, which is just like Oreos over like jello or something. I don't know. But thumbs up on the nachos. Yeah. Score with the ghost. It was like twelve fifty, something yeah. like that. I mean, a little overpriced, but you're not going to get it any other time, so. And it tastes good. Yeah. We finally left Pecos Bills, and we're standing in line for another one of the Hitchhiking Ghosts. I think this is the Pecos popcorn cart. There's Pecos Bills restaurant right there, and here's the popcorn cart. So we got our second of the Hitchhiking Ghosts, two of the three. Let's go check on the one that's over there. Hopefully it's not going to be an hour long wait. Gus. <laughs> we got the third one! Our collection is complete. And this one actually comes with uh, cinnamon donuts. A popcorn bucket, a sipper, and a little basically a donut holder. And I think the back just slides in. Ah, that's so fun! And then they will all clip together, which we will show you here. They all light up too. Mickey, yes. you have taken our money. Alright, worth the money? I guess so. No, but no. I had to do it. I had to do it. What are we doing next? We're going to eat these donuts as we walk towards the Frontier Pin Trading Store and Country Bears Trick or Treat. So apparently this is the Candy Bear Jamboree. Who knew? Not just the Country Bear Jamboree, but the Candy Bear Jamboree. We don't have a Halloween tree. Mickey. And they say Halloween party. This one is $14.99. And Mickey is ooh, $26.99. I'm gonna say no right now. Okay. I think we're finally getting out of Frontierland. We've been here forever. We're going to see if we can get Constance Hatchaway's wedding cake. And we need to move on before the uh, parade starts. <laughs> Served to us in the thickest, hardest plastic box container right. that I have ever 
seen. But they still only had paper straws. That was a mess over there. The, over in Frontierland, they were about to start the parade. They had the line about two feet wide. There were people standing in the line to watch the parade. There were people trying to get through the line to get the tree. And then to get back out of the line, once you got your tree, you had to kind of scuttle back through that little area right there. It was not planned well. There was a lot of tight spaces and a lot of wet people and it was just a mess. Just expect that when you come. But we did get our treat and that's all that matters. Yeah, like, somehow this party has turned into us uh, trick-or-treating and treats. Like we're not really going on anything. We're just kind of walking around to see the sights. Now we're trying to make our way over to Tomorrowland so that we can go get some treats over there. See if we can beat the parade before it gets over here, cross over Main Street. <laughs> Now it's actually started sprinkling a little bit, so we're going to stand here and probably eat our wedding cake treat, and then we're going to continue on over into Tomorrowland. She's Insta-ing, or whatever it's called when you take Instagram photos. So this is Constance's For Better or For Worse wedding cake from the Liberty Square popcorn cart. For those of you who don't know who Constance is, if you've ever ridden the Haunted Mansion and you go through the attic, Allegedly. Uh -huh. I mean, I know that they sing that part like the whole time, but it's so catchy and you just gotta sing it every time. Where are we going? Okay, I think it finally stopped sprinkling and we are finally on the move again. We're walking back to Tomorrowland. Where's the first place we're gonna hit? Maybe we'll check out this Monsters Inc. thing. And Monsters Inc. is literally right here. And here's the trick or treat thing right here that tells us where to go. I need my trick or treating bag. You're doing muscles, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. You might want to try some because it's so delicious. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Can we get candy on the way out too? Of course. I mean, if you don't want it. Thank you very much. Candy on the way in and on the way out. We finished up in the Monsters Laugh Floor. Got candy on the way in. And on the way out. Now we're heading over to Carousel of Progress, which is right behind us right here. And I think we just walk in and get more candy. Let's see. Why not? Oh wait, we're going up and we're going down. Okay. Right, what we get? Apple, apple, fruit on the go. We didn't actually get to go into the Carousel of Progress. They kind of put us up the ramp and back down the ramp. I think now we're going to go get on the People Mover.